fruit fruit are the seed bearing structure and it is uh, they are the one of the most important part of the plant and uh, the fruit is basically developing from the ripe ovary so the ovary is only converting into the fruit fruit are a very important uh, for the body they are the resource for the uh, of the vitamins minerals and the fibers for example the grapes banana apple papaya watermelon are some of the fruit which is consumed by the humans they are the main source of the balanced diet they, they are composed of the minerals and the uh, vitamins so these are need to be consumed by the human body the fruit is a characteristic features of the flowering plant and it is a mature or the ripened ovary we can say okay so it is a mature or the ripened ovary which is usually developed after the fertilization okay so if the fruit is formed without the fertilization of the ovary then it is called as the false fruit or it is also called as the parthenocarpic fruit okay if the fruit is formed without the uh, fertilization of the ovary then it is called as the false fruit or the parthenocarpic fruit if the fruit is developing from the uh, ovary only or the ovary itself then it is called as the true fruits which we will discuss in a while so first we will discuss about the part of the fruit so there are the two uh, part are present in the fruit the pericarp is there and the seed is there okay pericarp is what the pericarp is the wall of the ovary that also develop as the wall of the fruit so we can say the pericarp is the wall and the pericarp of the fruit it might be uh, fleshy like in the guava mango etc so this pericarp is fleshy and this pericarp it may be dry as we can see in the walnut so these are the uh, dried ones okay so the pericarp it can be the fleshy one and it can be the dry one okay and the pericarp is again differentiated into the three layer what are the three different layer the epicarpic uh, epicarp is there mesocarp and the endocarp the epicarp is the outermost layer it is the outermost and they are forming the peel of the fruit the mesocarp is the middle layer which is fleshy one and the mesocarp is the edible portion of the fruit while the endocarp is what the endocarp is the innermost layer or it is the uh, inner rough portion where the seed is accommodated so these are differentiated into the three layer the epi and um, epi meso and the endo okay and so pericarp is differentiated into the three layer and the seed is what the seed is the middle part and it is the ripened fertilized ovule only which is converted into the seed okay so the seed is an embryonic plant which is enclosed in a protective covering so we can see that the seed are also enclosed in a protective covering so um, they are covered itself or the seed are the uh, they have the covering outside them so the part of the fruit consists of the pericarp which is differentiated into the three layer the epicarp mesocarp and endocarp and the second part of the spa, uh, fruit is the seed and the fruit is classified on the basis that whether the fruit developing from the ovary on or not so if it is developing from the ovary then it is called as the true fruit true fruit are those that develop solely and solely from the ovary for example the mango and the coconut and the other tropical fruit are the examples of the true fruit so in this true fruit like in the mango the uh, ls is there so we can see the all the three different uh, pericarp layer is there epicarp meso and the endocarp the seed coat and the seed is uh, there okay so the mesocarp is the edible part of uh, uh, the true fruit and all the fruit it is developing from the ovaries 
the pseudo carp or the false fruit the second uh, classification of the fruit and the fruit is not formed by an ovary in some fruit uh, and some flower uh, parts in fact they are developing from the some flower part such as the thalamus is there okay so the thalamus may be converted into the fruit the inflorescence uh, is converted into the fruit okay the calyx is there so these all are modified to become the part of the fruit okay so these are referred to as the false fruit or the pseudo calf fruit as example includes the apple strawberry so these are the examples of the um, false fruit in the diagram also we can see that the pericarp layer is there okay and it is not differentiated into the three different layer while the seed is there and this fleshy thalamus is the edible part of the apple and uh, while in the true fruit what happened the mesocarp is the edible one okay so in the false fruit the fleshy thalamus is the edible part and that is converting into the fruit. So, the apple is basically uh, known as the false fruit also because it is not developing from the ovary. It is developing from some other parts of the flower uh, into the fruit that is um, the thalamus one. And on the basis of the number of flowers and the ovaries involved, so, there again fruit is classified into the three types. The simple fruit is there, the aggregate fruit is there, multiple and the composite fruit is there. Okay. And these are the classification of the true fruit only. So, the first one is the simple fruit. So, they are called as a simple fruit because these fruits they are developing from a single matured ovary in a single flower for example the apple banana cherry pear plum okay tomato so these are the few example of the simple fruits and the simple fruit is again categorized into the following type the droop is there the berry is there okay the pomes and the hesperdium and the pepos are there so the droop is what they are known as the stone fruit because they have the stone in uh, inside them the stony seed are there and it is very hard seed is present for example in the plum and in the cherry as well as in the peach so they their category uh, is belong they uh, belong to the droop category because they have the hard seed inside Next is the uh, berries. So, berries is what they are very 